General, Dr. Godera is on his way to you. I can only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. I'm also told you saved a Republic settlement from a Sith assassin. Those colonists were lucky you showed up. How did you wind up there anyway? The Imperial Spymaster warned me what the Sith was planning. Division in the enemy ranks? Interesting. Let's hope there's more to come. Your work here may be done, but this isn't over. General, I've arrived on Nar Shaddaa. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Ord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The best defense against a Sith is someone like me. Your order was nearly extinct. The Senate feared you might never recover. Nar Shaddaa has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. It's my first visit to hut space. What do you know about them? Huts break laws just breathing, but they let us do our business, no questions asked. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchmen on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. But I can only assume they're dead or captured. If they're alive, I'll save them. But what about the weapons project? Our research can die for all I care. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shaddaa. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. What should I know about this promenade area? It's the center of commerce. You'll be rubbing shoulders with all sorts there, even the enemy. But the huts don't permit violence. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Varsuthra, out. That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Lighting up the darkness is one of my specialties. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. What do you know about the person Galen was after? The General said it was the operative in charge of his project. More than that, I don't know. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second, I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. The enemy may be trying to flush you out into the open, make you easier to pick off. Running and regrouping is better than waiting to die. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. 
I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Transmitting a decryption signal to your holo? Descrambling? Hmm. Times and locations, standard tracking details. And one priority holo. Playing that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The power guard data files are missing. No clues to the main facility's location, but there was evidence of a recruitment center here. The project was using refugees as test subjects. The recruitment center's my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. Took guts going in there alone. Not sure what's worse. The enemy stealing our weapons project, or us experimenting on refugees. I'm shocked General Varsuthra permitted illegal testing. With all the layers of secrecy, he probably didn't know. Agent Galen, or whoever got him, holds the key to recovering the Power Guard project. The trail ends at that recruitment center. You need to get inside there, find out what's happened. Good luck, Raikonaut. You'll be all right. I'm here to help. Chief Riken, the recruitment center was overrun with Imperials. No sign of Agent Galen, but I've just freed some refugees. Not refugees. Heroes. These people put their lives on the line for victory over the Empire. Name's Velnarok. Been recruiting volunteers for the Power Guard project since it started. Those people asked to become test subjects? The Empire stole their homeworlds. They jumped at the chance for payback. Over the years, hundreds of people volunteered for the Power Guard experiments. Heroes. All of them. How many Power Guards are there? What are they like? That's way above my security level. But I've heard they're amazing. Even stronger than a Jedi. Don't know how the Empire found us. But they control the whole project now. A Republic agent named Galen came here. What happened to him? They captured him alive. Their leader wanted him. Imperials are taking people for testing to the main lab. It's in the red light sector. Not sure exactly where. That's one of the busiest parts of Nar Shadda. We'll never find the lab. I've heard it's the only building with a dedicated energy reactor. Does that help? Absolutely. Contact me when you're in the red light sector. I'll have a plan. Riken out. I'll get these volunteers to safety. I hope you kill every last one of those Imperials. I'm in the red light sector. You have a plan for finding that main lab? If the Power Guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power grid. My team is monitoring energy readings in that sector. All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. I assume you have some targets in mind. Sending coordinates to key power conduits. Hit them all, and we'll get a fix on that Power Guard main lab. And be careful. The red light sector may look civilized, but it's nothing of the sort. Riken out. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. That has to be the main lab. Sending coordinates now. Aside from Agent Galen and the test subjects, we have no idea what you'll face in there. How will you play this? Whatever surprises the enemy has in store, a Jedi is always ready. With luck, you'll catch the opposition off guard. You're in for a hell of a fight. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angrel told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Explains why you're not here. Scared, huh? You soldiers, lay down your weapons. 
I promise you'll be treated fairly. More than you deserve. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. They gave me no choice. I'd rather have captured them alive. Typical Jedi. Slaughter a room full of men and then apologize for it. I promised Commander Grawl he could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. Mark I power guards, not as destructive as the later models I possess, but quick to assemble and quite malleable. It took nothing to wipe their useless minds and program them to serve me. You captured a Republic agent. What have you done with him? Something extraordinary. But you won't live to see it. Kill the Jedi, cut out the Padawan's tongue and bring it to me. Too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. There's nothing left here. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. It looks important. It may have information on where the enemies moved to. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. My slicers will crack the decryption. We'll have to move fast to stop the enemy. Hurry. <laughs> Jerk. I warned him. I told Raikin this base was compromised. The Chief's dead. They're all dead. What, what were those things? They're like what I fought at the main lab, but more powerful. You kept us out of the loop. Hid the power guard facility. Never told us about these weapons. We stayed. Supported your mission when we should have evacuated. These deaths are on you. Lashing out at me isn't useful. We need to confront this together. With Raikin dead, I'm acting Bureau Chief. This operation's over. Agent Diaz, we're leaving now. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. Chief Raikin promised to unlock these Imperial files. Then take it up with him. His body's over there. Wait a minute, this Jedi is the only person who can stop those things. I gave you an order, Agent. And I lost my hearing during the fight. Give me the data pad. I'll do my best. Decryption complete. The enemy took everything from the power guard lab to a fallback position. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial controlled factory on the industrial level. I couldn't have done this without your help. Make those scum pay for what they did to us. You have your information. The rest is up to you. I'm sorry for keeping you here. Find some place to hide until this is over. Sir, I recommend we inform General Varsuthra. We need immediate reinforcements. I've marked the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. Let's go, Agent Diaz. You shouldn't have come. You'll make me hurt you. He already forced me to give up my fellow agents. Now they're all dead. Agent Galen? What happened to you? When I resist, the pain... He always wins. I'll break his control over you. I promise. Too late. He's here. Nothing more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your constant interruptions must end. Your former ally will be your executioner. The new Agent Galen's power is matched only by his obedience. He could have attacked me and didn't. His will is greater than yours. He hasn't been properly motivated yet. Galen, destroy my enemy. No, I'd rather die. Control Factor 6 initiated. Neural override complete. Launching elimination protocol. Target? Jedi. I told you. He always wins. Stop! I'm... I'm in control! All that damage you did finally spread to the neural overrides. Only temporary, though. I can already feel my systems repairing themselves. Tell me how to free you from the Sith's control. Can't remove the machines without killing me. But I don't matter anymore. The Sith Lord, Lord Static, has the Republic's Mark III power guards, cybernetically enhanced soldiers armed with advanced weapons. Static plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him, an army to conquer Nar Shaddaa. The Sith could make thousands, 
millions of power guards. Sadik's building his army in Shadow Town, an Imperial controlled sector. Nastiest people on Narshada. And that's saying a lot. I'll give you the coordinates. Neural overrides are starting. There's nothing else to do. Kill me. There must be a way to free you. Give me time to defeat Sadik. Free me? From this? Even without Sadik controlling me, I won't live like this. I'm sorry, but it's not my place to kill you. Last your dead, I'm Orals! I'm a threat! To you! To the Republic! If you won't do what's right, I'll do it myself. Beg the stars you don't see me again. I don't like the sound of that. We'd better hurry and find this base. Mark III's are tougher than I thought. Not much left of me, is there? Galen, these wounds... There's nothing we can do for you. I've got no regrets. This was my choice. If you'd stayed at the factory, you'd still be alive. Not worth it. Better this way. Find Sack and destroy the Power Guard project. You're strong to have made it this far. But not strong enough. I am more than Sith now. Much more. He's tall. I'll give him that. Remarkable technology. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. Only a madman would sacrifice his own humanity for power. No price is too high to become war incarnate. A shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth Angron would appreciate that. I might even leave your mind intact, as I did Agent Galen's. I'll never serve you, and you'll never hurt anyone again. You're mistaken. Look so surprised. It's our job to follow people. Agent Diaz planted a tracker on you back at headquarters. Standard operating procedure. No offense intended. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Glad I don't have to hold this base by myself. We won't be staying long. This is Black Star Squad, a special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Sir, I've located the Power Guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? That technology is too horrible to exist. Erase the data. I disagree, but I'm ready to be done with this. Go ahead, Agent Diaz. You should check in with General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. It was interesting working with you. Good luck. We narrowly escaped a major disaster, General, but a lot of good people died. Bad enough losing Chief Raikin and so many agents, but Galen, we'd worked together for years. Just heard from Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Thank you for destroying the Power Guard files. Approving that project was the biggest mistake of my career. Never let fear compromise your ideals. If only it were that simple. The Republic's position on Nar Shaddaa is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. I'm sealing all records of what happened here. You, me, and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. Keeping secrets got people killed. The reason they died can't stay hidden. I'll file a full report with my superiors. I hope they don't drum me out of the service. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Hacklin was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? I'm not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? That's too convenient. 
Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Hacklin wouldn't be the first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Kira obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. I have a bad feeling about this. There's no time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. We'll bring the Admiral in safely. Be careful out there. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him! Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? Family? Kira, you know this man? Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor, like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. Kira is my Padawan. If that were true, I'd know it. Deception comes easily to our family. The dark side runs strong in us. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now, and he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. Thanks for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... brutal. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. One day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. I'm starting to understand. You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Did you tell Master Quix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. Master Satil and the others need to know about this. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Quix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last! I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. That isn't like Master Coix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Understood, General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? 
I'd like to know what that is. Sorry, General. Jedi business. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Angrel's still up there. May the Force be with us all. Barsuth, we're out. Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Quix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before, but this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira and Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turn to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this Council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. You did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. I don't think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I felt stronger having you there. You're a good master. And a good friend. We're in this together. I know you'd do the same for me. I would now. After this, I owe you a few dozen. Ready to go whenever you are, master. Ever wonder who you'd be if the Jedi hadn't taken you in? I was born to be a Jedi Knight. I could never be anything else. Life's a straight line, huh? That's very... you. I should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jumped ship on Nar Shadda. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. <laughs> Should have seen Master Kowik's face. I wondered how you two found each other. Stealing from a Jedi. That took some fortitude. Didn't know she was a Jedi. Lots of people wear robes. Still remember when Master Kowik realized I was Force-sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. <laughs> it was... weird. Nobody ever gave me a choice before. Still getting used to that. If the Empire conquers the galaxy, freedom will be the first casualty. Along with Phaseball, Mom, and sweet flatcakes. I get it. Point is, I know what I'd be if I weren't a Jedi. And I'm never going back. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero-G cell. 
The Council is responsible not just for our order, but the entire Republic. They have to be careful. Know what I learned from my first Council meeting? I can sleep standing up. All I'm saying is, using the Force can be fun. The Order needs to lighten up. The fate of the galaxy depends on us, Kira. Never forget that. Already running for a seat on the Council, huh? Oh well. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Quix reported in? Last we heard, Quix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers, perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? A research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. <laughs> the vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. A weapon so destructive has no place in the Republic arsenal. We only recently discovered its full capabilities. I banned further testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Coix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Coix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Control your emotions, Kira. Don't give in to fear. I'm not afraid, but she can't die. I owe her too much. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. Somebody needs to tell the Jawas that tooling around in a giant vehicle doesn't help them look any bigger. Still, it's a nice ride. Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. Glad to help. Do you people work at this facility? Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. I take it the Sith killed her then. I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. <laughs> the Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kowix and the shock drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. The Sand People won't be a problem anymore, but we need to find that weapon. Can you help? This facility can pick up the shock drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kowix, and the shock drum. Facility power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. I just detected the shock drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. 
If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. Your home will be fine, Brick. Just tell me where the shock drum is. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down somehow. Brick, that's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! Whatever you're talking about, we need to find the shock drum, fast. Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. I feel Master Kuix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. At least we know she's still alive. She doesn't have long. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. Good luck. I placed the scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. If I fail, Tatooine gets destroyed. You don't want to be here for that. I'll do respect, Master Jedi. If this planet and its people die, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. If all you want is my death, why destroy Tatooine? When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. He'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. Why not let me find out the hard way? What are you after, Lord Praven? My master deserves justice, but there are more noble ways to have it. I will destroy you personally. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. The other Sith I fought were full of hatred and arrogance. In you, I sense regret. My family is true Sith. My only passions are integrity and honor. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. Come, let us end this. Die well, Jedi. Such skill, so much power, impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? 
You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility, but you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. You've done the right thing. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. Then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Jedi are taught to see all possibilities. I see one where you live on with honor. Commit yourself to the path of light. Become a Jedi. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet. The Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brett and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Rick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. Some sort of creature? That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! Ah, oh, Tatooine. You never run out of ways to let me know I should be dead. I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you keep the bunker? Good to meet you, Uncle Bedwana. Nipopo, Chopo Uma. Ubanya! Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? All that matters right now is you're safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. What you did was miraculous. We'll handle things from here. I know you faced terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. I almost hated having to destroy it. <laughs> My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. 
Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? Uh, all that work? The people who died protecting it? Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. General, Doctor, good news. Master Quix and Seismologist Heron are safe. Even better, the shock drum was destroyed. Destroyed? Blast! I wanted to inspect that prototype. Such a promising design. The only thing it promised was to destroy planets. Honestly, I'm relieved it's gone. I've just received a surprising report from one of my cruisers in the area. A pure-blooded Sith Lord named Praven surrendered to it. He mentioned your name. Anything I should know? He was one of Darth Angrel's apprentices, but he's joining our side. I promised we wouldn't hurt him. Keep finding new ways to impress me. I'll order my people to hand the Sith over to the Jedi Council. They'll know what to do. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Marsuthra out. Evil doesn't stand a chance with the two of us around. Who's Shafu? I hope you went to prison for a long, long time. Did Master Zalo threaten him? Or did he use force persuasion? He probably decided to lay low after Master Zalo was killed. Get out of the game before his cover was blown. Shafu was that Rodian slaver you told me about. The one who changed his ways and started working for Master Zalo. Don't keep me in suspense. Did Shafu discover anything to confirm Master Zalo's suspicions? <laughs> that report could be crucial to the Republic war effort. Let me know as soon as you piece it back together. General, I'm on Alderaan. Have you heard from Master Orgus? Negative. 
Considering the chaos there, it's a wonder any messages get through. Alderaan's a war zone. The nobles are fighting to decide who's in charge, and whether this world aligns with the Republic or the Empire. I thought Alderaan was already a Republic world. When we signed the Treaty of Coruscant, hardliners on Alderaan formally withdrew from the Republic. Unfortunately, some nobles took the opportunity to ally with the Empire. My people developed a Deathmark weapon to end this conflict with surgical precision. Extraordinary device. It marks targets with a microscopic tag. Undetectable. Tracks targets anywhere on the planet. Feed the target's coordinates to a focused beam laser, and it can kill them from across a continent. Since when is the Republic in the assassination business? If I can save a billion lives by killing one man, I'll gladly pull the trigger. The death mark has one regrettable disadvantage. The targeting device's range is extremely limited. 20 meters or so. Once a target is marked, however, the laser can hit it from any range. I fear efforts to guard the weapon have failed. Master Orgus's last transmission came from Organa Palace. After that, nothing. Considering what happened to Master Quix, it's a sure bet Orgus is in danger. Count Alder was the last to see Master Orgus. He co-funds the Deathmark project with us. I tried informing the Count of your arrival, but communications there have been crippled. Reports indicate multiple holo relays destroyed. Standard Imperial battle tactic. House Organa can't spare the troops to get their holo relays online. Maybe you can help? I'll restore communications, and then meet Count Alda. Transmitting holo relay coordinates. If you get them up and running, it'll tighten House Organa's defenses. You'll find Count Alda at the embassy near Organa Palace. Good luck. Marsuthra out. Organa sure know how to build a palace. Folks on Coruscant must be jealous. Count Alda, I'm an associate of Master Orcus Din. I'm here about the Deathmark project. Yes, much gratitude for restoring our communications. Elena, tell the Jedi what you told me. I worked at the Deathmark research facility. We were conducting routine tests when Imperial forces breached our security doors. There was a hideous little man with them. A Sith, I think. If it was a Sith, it's a miracle you survived. I'd be dead, if not for the Jedi. Before anyone knew what happened, a single Jedi wiped out all the Imperial troops. Way to take care of business, Master Orgus. I'm sorry, but the <sighs> Jedi... He didn't survive. The Sith was deadly. He'd vanish, then leap out of the shadows. He surprised your friend, stabbed him in the back. It was horrible. He was a great Jedi. He taught me well. He was your... I didn't realize. When the Jedi fell, the Sith summoned reinforcements. But not Imperials. Killix. Intelligent, man-sized insects living underground. Flesh-eaters. Ghastly things. How did the Sith communicate with them? Oh, they're highly evolved. That's what makes them deadly. Those things poured into the facility. Started tearing everyone apart. I ran. There was nothing you could have done. Thank the stars you survived to give us this news. The Sith now controls the Death Mark. No telling who he's targeted. I can pick up the Sith's trail at the research labs. It's blasted dangerous. Killix in such large numbers, virtually unstoppable. Win Organa is organizing peace talks with the other houses. It's possible the Sith. That was the Death Mark laser! It killed Count Alda! It happened so fast. I never felt the danger. I have to get out of here. It's not safe. We're all gonna die. The Count. You there. Hands up. Men, take their weapons. Lock down this building. We didn't kill him. We're here to help. Back against the wall. And put your hands up. This is your final warning. Are you insane? She's a Jedi Knight. We had nothing to do with this. We'll verify your identities and alibis. If what you say is true, you'll be released. Long-range communications have been restored. Should only take a few days to sort this out. Lives are in danger. You'll do anything to help me save Alderaan. Lives are in danger. I'll do anything to help you save Alderaan. Men, secure the building. I'll contact Organa Security and inform them of the situation. You 
You've got to find the death mark before that Sith kills again. Here are the coordinates to the research facility. What's left of it. I hope you find something useful. Take care, Master Jedi. We're outnumbered, underpowered, and one step behind the enemy. Just once, I'd like to try it the other way. Hey, what took you so long? They said you were dead. Thank the Force you're alive. The Force and my lightsaber. Needed both this time. You've looked better, Master. Sure you're all right? I've looked worse, Kira. I'll be fine. Blasted Sith almost killed me. It was all I could do to save Dr. Parvix. The enemy left us here as food for the Killicks. Taking down that Killick leader must have been quite a fight. Thing was huge. Master, I don't know what you're talking about. The giant Killick uh, leading these others. You didn't see it? If that thing eats us, you're fired. You all right, Doctor? Don't worry about me. The Death Mark is in enemy hands. You must warn Count Alda. The Count was just killed by the Death Mark. The targeting device was taken to Organa Palace. Have you met a woman calling herself Elena Hark? She was with me when Count Alda died. She sent me here. Must have thought the Killings would get rid of you for her. Elena's a spy. She helped the Sith steal the Death Mark, and now she's targeting people with it. She could have marked dozens of people by now. The weapon's laser can kill them at any time, anywhere. Not if we cut its power. The laser's still tied into the local energy grid, right? Several power stations supply the laser. Deactivating them would take the laser offline, at least temporarily. Get the doctor to safety. I'll deactivate the power stations. I have coordinates to every station. Deactivate them in the order I've described. Don't leave even one functional. We'll head to the closest Republic-friendly camp. Meet us there. May the Force be with you. Well, well. The Jedi who killed Thomas back on Coruscant. I'd rather if you didn't shut down my laser's power stations. I need them. I have so many targets waiting to be vaporized. Who's next? The farm girl or the old colonel? Even Sith don't murder random people. You're missing the point. Imagine the terror spreading among Alderaan's people as death reigns upon them. Oh dear, I'm afraid the farm girl didn't make it. I wonder how long the old colonel will survive. I can kill anyone I like and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a lovely day. Determined to spoil my fun, aren't you? Now I have to set up new power stations where you can't reach. At most, you've bought yourself a few hours. Proud of yourself? We know about your spy. We'll capture Elena and the Deathmark targeting device. Well, I suggest you hurry. Tick, tick, tick. I deactivated the laser's power stations, but Darth Angrel's apprentice contacted me. Dozens of innocent people are targets of the Deathmark. We need to end this before he brings that laser back online. This is Wynn Organa, chief negotiator of the peace talks to end this war. Elena Hawk had free run of Organa Palace. Everyone there could be a target, including me. The last time I saw Elena, she was still in your city. We lost track of her in the chaos after Count Alda's death. However, my spies report a woman matching her description entered House Thule's compound. House Thule? They support the Empire? Yes. But Duke Thule openly advocates the peace process. I thought he was sincere. What if the Sith want to silence him? The last thing Darth Angrel wants is peace. If Duke Thule is killed by a Republic secret weapon, the peace process will never recover. 
Hate to say it, but our best bet is to storm in there and stop Elena. I'm ready to go when you are, Master. You're in charge of recovering the death mark from House Thule. I have my own mission. There's only a few places Engel's apprentice could be operating from. We need to narrow down that list of candidates. I'll come with you. Then we'll go to House Thule. Our destinies part here, my friend. I'll contact you when I've found our enemy. I hope to hear from both of you when this threat is ended. Head for House Thule. May the Force be with you. Duke, your calls for peace are misguided, unnecessary. Lord Nefarid wants what's best for House Thule, unconditional victory. And all he asks is that I betray Organa. What? Who the skies are you? I'm the Jedi who's here to rescue you from Elena. You invaded my home. How many guards did you kill getting inside? All of them, and now she means to kill you. Be warned, I am prepared to kill you. Lord Nefar had trained me to fight a Jedi. What about two Jedi? Guards, defend the Duke! If you must kill me, at least tell me why! The Jedi isn't here for you, fool! Not that it matters. No one will escape Lord Nefarid's purge. You're both dead, just like everyone scrabbling for peace. As the last person marked Jedi, you'll be the first to fall. Lord Neferit's plans are unraveling. Hand over the targeting device. If you're hoping to remove that mark on you, don't. I've just rendered the targeting device non-functional. Then we've heard enough from you. <gasps> Blasted woman has doomed us both, unless we work together. You have my full cooperation, Duke. I knew it would be wise to keep tabs on that Sith. Disgusting little men like him are always up to something. He's using a mountain bunker as a base. I'll give you the coordinates. Kill him if you can. All I need to destroy is the Deathmark technology. I'm leaving for the spaceport. I'll try to outrun the Deathmark in case you fail. But first, this traitor dies. If you want peace on Alderaan, you must realize death isn't justice. I'll put her in a detention cell until she can be tried and executed. Go! Stop Nefarid, for both our sakes! Master Orgus, the Deathmark device is destroyed, but I was scanned by it. Darth Angrel's apprentice is targeting me. I'm on my way to his stronghold. Where are you? Too far to help. I misled you back at the camp. I haven't been searching for the apprentice. I've been hunting Darth Angrel and I just found his cruiser. General Varsuthra has been hunting him for days without success. The General doesn't have the Force as his ally. It called, and I followed. The cruiser's at the edge of the system, outside the reach of planetary sensors. It's about to jump for hyperspace. This may be our only shot at stopping him. I'm boarding that cruiser. Just wanted someone to know, in case. You're a great Jedi, Master. If anyone can stop Angrel, it's you. You're the finest student I've ever trained. Wish I'd met you sooner. Stop Angrel's apprentice. Save Alderaan. May the Force be with you. Orgus out. You truly are a stubborn one. Won't be satisfied until you've completely inconvenienced me, will you? Come out from the shadows and face justice. My master is transmitting the most amusing hollow message right now. You really should watch it with me. Assaulting my cruiser alone. Very careless of you, Augustine. It's not too late, Angro. Do the right thing for once. Surrender. 
Pity you didn't bring your student. I could kill you both. Tell me, Jedi, are you afraid to die? There is no death. There is only the Force. If there is no death, where is my son? No! And now I'll finish you. After all, you can't fight what you can't see. The Force will guide me. You won't escape. Let's be done with this. I have a long list of people to kill. Oh, I almost forgot. The Deathmark laser is finally back online. And it's tracking you. My Force! The death mark has been destroyed. Your people are safe. I will inform Organa Palace immediately. We are forever in your debt. Duke Thule sent us the spy Elena as a show of good faith. She's to stand trial for her crimes. Her testimony will expose the Empire for what it is. No house will ally with them after this. Darth Angrel captured and murdered my Jedi Master. My sympathies. Master Orga seemed like a great man. Rest assured, I won't let your master's sacrifice be in vain. Be well, Jedi. We should head back to the ship. Tell General Varsuthra about Master Orgus. General, the death mark has been destroyed, and I have news about Master Orgus. Darth Angro broadcast Orgus' execution over the holonet, left the body floating in space for us to find. A Republic shuttle has just recovered the remains from the edge of the Alderaan system. I'm sorry. Orgus taught me everything I know about being a Jedi. Darth Angro has no idea what he's brought on himself. Your master is dead, but he left us a gift. Somehow, he planted a tracking beacon on Angrel's cruiser without the Sith realizing it. Every time Angrel's ship drops out of hyperspace, we know where. Orgus got the last laugh. It was a brilliant strategy, but I wonder if the cost was too great. He paid it so others wouldn't have to. Stand by. Report coming through. Angrel is on the move. We just picked up the tracking signal in the Euphrates system. That agri world supplies nearly half of Carson's food. I'm scrambling the fleet, but you're closer. My ship isn't equipped to fight a battlecruiser, but I'll think of something. Any damage to Euphrates' food production could cripple the Republic. One warship can only destroy so much. Tell that to Terrace. Transmitting Euphrates' coordinates. Good hunting. No sign of Darth Angrel, but Euphrates. I saw this planet once, with Master Kowix. It used to be green. <laughs> General, I've arrived at Euphrates. There's no sign of Angrel, but the planet... See for yourself. Receiving your sensor readings. Stand by. Euphrates' atmosphere looks like it's on fire. I could have done that. Damage consistent with designs recovered on Ord Mantell. The Desolator weapon. Angrel's taken the planet prison and turned it into something horrific. The Desolator borrows technology from all our advanced warfare projects. Angrel's son was quite the genius. Freddy's had millions of citizens, whole continents of farmlands, all that life extinguished. The scale of this is it's unthinkable. Getting an emergency transmission. It's faint, coming from the far side of the planet. Republic vessel, do you copy? This is medical frigate Daybreaker. We're under attack. Imperial commandos have boarded us. Help! It's one of ours. The crew may know what happened here. No more of our people died today. Kira, plot an intercept course. Already done, Master. Strap yourselves in.
That was the last of the Imperials. You're safe now. Not a minute too soon. Those commandos weren't taking prisoners. I still can't believe what happened to Euphrates. When we arrived, an Imperial ship was attacking the planet. I've never seen anything like it. Euphrates was trapped inside an energy field. Some starships tried to flee, but their engines failed before they could leave the atmosphere. No one escaped. Every ship that tried crashed back onto the surface. The enemy made sure there wouldn't be survivors. We tried to run, but Imperial boarding pods overtook us. I saw Euphrates' atmosphere catch fire. Horrific destruction. Flames consumed the planet. Everything turned to smoke and ash in seconds. Could anyone have escaped the destruction? I don't see how. Captain, look at this. Our sensors detect faint life readings on the planet's surface. Possible survivors. Anyone left on that planet is as good as dead. If we go down there, we can provide food, water, shelter, and medicine. It's our duty. The energy field surrounding Euphrates will destroy your ship's engines. You won't be able to leave. We can't abandon the survivors. We're the only hope those people have. Every second counts. Please, he'll listen to you. Talk to him. It's not that I don't want to help, but I have a family to think about. This ship carries combat-grade Colto packs, battle adrenals, you name it. Talk her out of this crazy idea. You'll have your pick of our supplies. I've pinpointed the strongest life signs. We can land immediately. Render aid to anyone you find. I promise you won't be abandoned down there. This is insane. I'm taking an escape pod off this lunatic asylum. My crew can do this without him. Thank you for doing what's right. I'm transmitting our sensor logs of the attack to your ship. Please give them to the Republic High Command. You better go. People on Euphrates need us. I rescued the Daybreaker, General. I have sensor logs of Engril's attack. However, the crew landed on Euphrates to help possible survivors. They're trapped. We'll get them back somehow, but Angro is our first priority. Transmitting sensor logs now. My initial analysis indicates the Desolator has a similar flaw to the planet prison. The weapon's excessive power requirements demand a lengthy charging period before it can fire. Small consolation. Angro's next attack will undoubtedly be more direct. The entire Republic should be warned about this. Carson needs to begin food rationing immediately. I'll contact the Galactic Senate and put every Republic world on... Wait! We're getting another emergency alert from Typhon. Relaying it now. Under attack by Darth Angrel. Launching defense fighters. Angrel's battlecruiser deploying energy weapon. Our ship can't escape Python's atmosphere. We're trapped. That explains why Angrel left Euphrates so quickly. He's already chosen his next target. Angrel's going to incinerate Tython, just like he did Euphrates. And finish what he started years ago. The annihilation of the Jedi. The Republic fleet's in hyperspace. By the time it's redirected to Tython, it'll be too late. The Desolator needs time to work. The Jedi may be trapped on Tython, but you're not. You could board Angrel's battlecruiser. Disable the weapon before it fires. I'll disable that weapon, and Darth Angrel will answer for his crimes. I'll use the sensor logs to find the Desolator's weak point. Contact us when you're aboard Angrel's warship. May the Force be with you. General, we got a little scorched, but we're inside Angrel's battlecruiser. Yes, I knew you could do it. Now to end that Sith for good. Won't be that simple. The sensor logs of Angrel's warship reveal he's amplified the vessel's reactors. That's a little trick he learned from me when I was interrogated by his spy on Taris. Blast his truth serums and mind probes. Disarming the Desolator weapon will necessitate overloading at least three shielded reactor relays. No simple task. General? Doctor? My team's moving out. We'll save Tython or die trying. Don't even think that. 
I expect us all to reach a ripe old age. Your signal's breaking up. May the... Kimball's jamming our transmissions. He's coming for us. Thanks for the vote of confidence, T7. Be careful out there. You will not steal my victory. Not now. I have sacrificed too much for this. I will avenge my son on you and all the Jedi. Tarnus died because he refused to surrender. Don't make that same mistake. Surrendering in my moment of triumph, that would be a mistake. I foresaw this confrontation. I welcome it. Today I forge a new era for the Sith. One where the Jedi are finally extinct. Finish this, Angrel. I command it. With pleasure, my master. What... what was that? I felt... the Emperor... You are his child. His eyes, his ears. His weapon to command. Come, child. Fight by my side. It's where you belong. I'd rather jump out an airlock naked. Fight the Emperor's control. Remember who you are. I feel him in my thoughts. We have to end this fast. If you will not serve, you will die. For Tarnis. Angrel's dead, and this battle cruiser's not far behind him. Disappointing. Angrel was useful. This child must learn her place. And so will you. Leave Kira alone. If you want to fight, face me in person. That is unnecessary. I see futures in you. Futures I will not allow. Your future ends here. This child is unfinished, weak. I will make her strong. Now you will die. Even if my child must die with you. No, I won't kill for you. You're resisting him. Keep it up. The dark side has no power over me. I am a Jedi. He's gone. I won. I'm finally free. Your life is your own, Kira. And I have you to thank, Master. The ship's coming down on top of us. Let's get out of here. Thank the Force you're alive. 
When I saw Angro's battlecruiser explode, I feared the worst. We had some close calls, but Angrel and his weapon are finished. Saving Tython is becoming a habit of yours. Please come to the surface. Bring your Padawan to the Council Chambers. We all have much to discuss. Welcome home. The Jedi owe you a debt of gratitude we can never repay. The Jedi wore Republic medals. Your robe would be covered in them. Only wish Master Orgus could share in this victory. I'll honor his legacy to the end of my days. We all will. He was a great teacher and a good friend. We've lost one of our noblest masters. But in his place stands a Jedi without equal. And you, Padawan. I knew you'd remain true to us. I see no reason why we shouldn't make Kira a full-fledged Jedi Knight. I agree. My troubled former Padawan has matured into a fine Jedi. As leader of this council, it's my pleasure to promote Kira Carson to the rank of Jedi Knight. You mean it? It seems only fair. You did help save the galaxy. So this is what it feels like, being respectable. Danger to Tython is over, but we're getting fresh reports of hostilities all over the galaxy. Another war with the Empire seems inevitable. Darth Angrel was the spark that lit the flame. Even in failure, he inspired the Sith to violence. But he also forged our greatest weapon against the darkness. The Force has shown me what lies ahead. The futures of many rest on your actions. You will decide the fate of the Jedi, the Republic, the galaxy. I'll defend the Republic to my dying breath. May the Force be with you. With all of us.